come in here on tonight? Well, I thought they uh, had a lot of um, energy and a lot of excitement out there, and I thought they played really hard. And there was good things on both sides of the ball, and, and some good things in the kicking game. So I, I was, uh, you know, um, not pleased, but I liked the effort and um, some of the execution that happened. Um, we still got a long way to go, though. You know, it seemed like uh, one of the maybe themes this spring with these scrimmages is that uh, you were able to keep tempo uh, within the scrimmage and within tonight. I mean, you got. Uh, 12-minute running, 12-minute uh, real quarters, and uh, to finish in less than two hours, that's pretty good. Yeah, they ha had a, uh, I agree with you, the tempo is something that we've been trying to set, and the young men did not wane. Uh, I think our conditioning is getting better and better, and that's something that we got better as the scrimmage went along, and uh, I was pleased with that. Uh, Travis Johnson is a name that I heard a couple times last season, and then I heard it a couple times tonight. So yeah. what do you expect from him this season? I expect big things out of Travis. He's had a good spring. He's a tough young man. Um, he understands how to play, and he had a good one good freshman year under his belt. And uh, he's a local product from King's Academy, so we're really excited about him and expect him to do well. And the same for Marquise Avery. Yeah, Marquise Avery had a really good night tonight. Uh, he's been kind of bummed up a little bit this spring with an ankle. Um, in, in the last week or so, he's came back. Early in the scrimmages, he did well. Middle, he's kind of slow. And then tonight, he came out and did well. Um, so he did a good job. I feel like you'll get a good evaluation of all three quarterbacks. You got a bunch of snaps. Yes, I do. That's the reason I wanted to do the way we've been doing it all spring. And, you know, the thing is, is they all have they had good times and they all had bad times. And then they hit some guys that were open. They could have had some other big plays. So we don't look at just the final stats. I look at, go back and say, guy, he made the right read. He hit the guy right in the hands. That's not his fault. So we, uh, we'll be able to evaluate a lot of that. Anything else for Coach McIntyre? Is Lasekla your number one right now? No, I have no number one no right number now. One. Okay. Um, that, that won't be decided until uh, a couple weeks before the first game. Can you say um, anything about Ryan Otten? Yeah, Ryan Otten is. A, I think Ryan Otten has a, a good future ahead of him. Like I said earlier, if Ryan Otten keeps working hard, he's got a good future. If he stops working hard, he doesn't have a future. But he's got an opportunity to be a good football player. Tell us about some of the things you want to take out from the scrimmage, some of the things that impressed you the most and some of the things you want to improve on. Well, I think one of the things that impressed me was I thought the hitting was pretty crisp. Uh, I thought the uh, defense was uh, physical. And then I thought the offense, when they kind of got banged around a little bit, bounced back, didn't hang their head, kept fighting, kept fighting. And then we went to a speed-up mode, and that was good to see us click into another gear. And, uh, and I, you know, our running game made some good plays, and that we've been really working hard on that. And, uh, you know, so uh, that's a, a positive area that we need to work on. And we did pretty good stopping it at times. But we're going to – that makes you a tougher football team, makes you more hard-nosed. Uh, but on the other side of it, it also be, be able to run the football, control the clock some, and then play action pass. They drop people down the box, and there's one-on-one -on -one situations for Marquise Avery or one-on-one -on, -one on a linebacker with Ryan Otten. And that's what we want to get to. Does it feel like Alabama is – right up on you or do you feel like oh we got, we got lots of time no all as a coach you always feel like they're right up on you yeah. and if you're, you're preparing every day for the next for that very next game and uh, yeah it, to me it's like it's right around the corner how much progress do you think the offense has made this spring I think just in 15 practices the offense has made tremendous strides from where we were last year um, we put a lot of hard work in this spring um, and we know the coaches have put in a lot of time they've done a really good job and uh, I feel really good about where we're at right now. You excited about the role of the tight end in this? Game? Yeah, really excited. I'm getting a chance to get some balls and make some blocks, and uh, it's been fun so far. So I'm excited. You know, the offense uh, kind of found its stride there, uh, second quarter, and uh, seemed to lose the ball uh, with uh, some success the rest of the night. Yeah, um, I feel like most of our scrimmages, that's kind of how it's been. We started off slow, then uh, kind of get a little momentum. And uh, that's the way it works, you know, the defense comes out fast and then we kind of we kind of stop the game a little bit and then we get going and kind of switch his pace a little bit. You know, it's, it's different. It's uh, our run game is really picked up and that's one of the things we were really hoping for, especially with our O-line, you know, to establish a run game and then be able to pass off that. And uh, you can see that a little bit tonight. Um, I can't wait to the season because our run game is going to be really solid and I'm excited to see it. Jordan, have you guys talked about Alabama? I mean, actually talked about the game at all? Or is it just sitting there in the back of everybody's uh, Yeah, I mean, we got to talk about it. You know, we got to prepare ourselves mentally. It's uh, it's one of the biggest, it's going to be the uh, biggest game probably of the year on TV. You know, number one team. Everyone's got their eyes on them. It's going to be televised. And a uh, huge crowd. 
nothing we'll, we've ever seen before. So um, we got to prepare ourselves mentally for it. And I, as you can see, us running after our game tonight, we're preparing our, ourselves physically as well. So we're ready for summer.